You will need some way to transport the boxes as they are quite heavy. You could do it with two people. Uh, it comes in three boxes, so be aware I got each box on a different day. They didn't all come at once. I do recommend that when you get everything that you open it and you look at the parts list inside and you count all of the parts and you make sure that you have everything as it would not be fun to install it missing parts. The set I got did indeed come with all of the parts and everything was in good condition. In fact, as I was looking over things and going over things with my dad, we noticed how nice all of the parts were. I have put together quite a few trampolines in my day and this one has better parts than anything I have seen. I think the stainless steel frame really makes a nice difference. You can see how shiny and nice the poles are. I will say this, they do get really quite hot in the sun when they're exposed, so be aware of that as you are assembling things and make sure that you wear gloves, which conveniently this set comes with two pairs of gloves. It does come with a tool so you can tighten things, but I highly recommend you get a 10 millimeter socket and electric drill to do everything. Now the instructions say to assemble it facing down and so that's kind of what we did but this ended up being a bad idea as once we had it assembled with the feet in place we realized that there was no way for us to flip it over without the whole thing falling apart so we went and we did it again this way we set everything up as you would in the same orientation as the final form. It is recommended that you have two people to set up this trampoline and honestly I think it would be nearly impossible to do with just one person though I suppose it would be possible. It's also recommended you do this on level ground. My ground is not completely level so it did lead to some issues. Here we are cutting out the tools. This little container is designed that you can use uh, a blade like this to cut everything out and then you have these nice little compartments with all of the hardware in it so they don't get lost. The first part is to do the crossbar that goes between the legs and I recommend you go in and you just barely screw things in so that they're in place and then once all of the crossbars are in place then you can go back and you can tighten everything fully. After that you can put in the lower bars and again, I would recommend that you put the hardware in and you can just tighten it with your finger just to hold everything in place, just like what you see here. And then once you have all these lower bars in place, you can go back and you can tighten everything to the full amount. Once all the lower safety bars are in place, you can go ahead and lay out the mat. When you are ready to connect the mat to the frame, what you'll want to do is get a permanent marker and you can mark some sort of indicator like an X every 27 holes or the first on every four bars. And then you go ahead and you connect that and that will help get it spaced out evenly apart. Then once you have those four connected, then you'll mark every third hole after that and get that connected. And then once that's done, you can just start filling in the gaps. This set did come with two of these tools to pull the springs, which made things really nice so that two of us could do it at the same time. Once that's all done, you'll go ahead and you will install the upper bars. They just snap right into place, so there's not much for installation there. And then you have these straps. These were kind of interesting. Some go parallel across the spring like this, and then some go perpendicular because they're installed on the other side, so you need to be aware of that. The most difficult thing for me was installing this black plastic on the poles. I found the easiest way to do it was to assemble it in place like this and then basically I just kept on pulling down continually as much as I could and it would push the foam quite a bit but then as you gradually let go of the black tarp piece the foam kind of pops itself back up and into place and once you can see the foam at the top of the black covering then you can just let it go back up to the top and you can kind of try to smooth out the black covering but it did take me a while to do this and i tried a few things that did not work this was the only way that worked for me 
After that, you can start putting the poles through the safety net and then you connect the poles. Once the poles are connected, then you can place them up top. They kind of just snap into place. We found that doing a couple poles at a time worked well for us. Then once we had that, we'd insert another pole and then we'd connect that with the other pole and then snap that into place and go all the way around the trampoline until everything was completed. And altogether, the safety net actually looks really nice and it does a great job. Once that's done, you need to clip the bottom. And I found that just laying on the trampoline was the easiest way for me to do that. So I could just reach over and around and get everything connected. And once all of that is installed, then you can anchor it to the ground. And you can see with this anchor, I ended up twisting it too tightly and actually broke it off. So what I would recommend you do is use water like this. If your soil is not soft enough for that to screw in, I did have to use some wood to tighten it up. I have a really hard clay soil, so that's why I needed to do that. Be very patient with that so you don't break it off like I did. And then you can put in the anchor straps and you are good to go. We did have some leftover pieces, so that's nice to know if you do make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Overall, I've been really happy with this trampoline. My kids absolutely love it. They have so much fun on this. As I mentioned before, I've had trampolines growing up. I've been on a lot of different trampolines. This is the biggest one I've been on. It also has the best quality materials. The stainless steel is super nice and slick and that's going to help it to last longer in good condition. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Oh, you're excused. That's a good trick. Huh?